There are 20 coins in a jar. Each coin is either a nickel or a quarter. If one of the coins is selected at random, the probability of selecting a nickel is 0 0.6. How many quarters are in the jar? Okay, so this is going to be a probability problem because the problem already says it. It tells us that we're either going to pick a nickel or a quarter in the jar. And then it also tells us that there is a total of 20 coins in the jar. We're going to need that information for a little bit later. And then it also tells us the probability of picking a nickel is 0 0.6. So when we're talking about probability, we're usually talking about it in a fraction. So we have a number of items on the top and on the bottom, there's usually the total. So we're starting with a decimal. We're starting with the probability of picking a nickel, which is 0 0.6. But let's go ahead and try to make that into a fraction. So 0 0.6, if you can read that decimal the proper, proper way, then you can easily put it into a fraction. So because the number six is actually in the tenths place, if we want to read this decimal, you can read it as six tenths. So because we're able to read it, we're able to put it in a fraction. So six tenths as a fraction would be six over 10. That's very simple. If you need extra practice, changing decimals into fractions. I'm going to leave the link to my workbook underneath this video. There are some practice problems where it, you can change a decimal to a fraction and a fraction to decimals. Okay, so we're going to go back to our problem. We now have a fraction 6 out of 10. What this means is that for every 6 nickels, there are 6 nickels in every 10 coins. Okay, so we know that six out of every 10 coins are nickels, but the problem told us that there's a total of 20 coins in the jar. So we need to make this fraction equal and have a total of 20 to see, okay, how many nickels would be in that jar of a total of 20 coins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go from 10 to 20. How do we go from 10 to 20? We times that by two. So because we multiplied the denominators by two, we're gonna multiply the numerator by two. So six times two is equal to 12. So if there's, out of every 10 coins, there are six nickels, then out of a total of 20 coins, there'll be 12 nickels. All right, so now we know the total number of nickels, but we have to go back to our question and see what the actual question is. It didn't ask us how many total nickels there are. It asked us how many quarters are in the jar. So in order to find the number of quarters, we would just take the total number of coins, which is 20, subtract the total number of nickels, which is 12, and we would get eight coins that are remaining, and those eight coins would be quarters. So our answer would be eight. Okay, so I know I really talked slow. I talked through it because we really needed to understand probability. We need to understand that probability is represented as a fraction. And then we also wanted to see, okay, how did we go from that decimal to a fraction to another equivalent fraction? And then to be able to figure out how many total coins there were, but the proper number of coins, not the number of nickels, but the number of quarters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed this process up and I'm going to show you how I would solve this on my own if I wasn't explaining that process to you guys. Okay, so we read the question and we're going to start from the beginning. There are 20 coins in a jar. Each coin is either a nickel or a quarter. If one of the coins is selected at random, the probability of selecting a nickel is 0 0.6. How many quarters are in the jar? Okay. So I'm going to start with 0 0.6, and I'm going to make that into a fraction, which is 6 over 10. So I know when there's 10 coins, there are 6 nickels. I'm going to look back at my problem and say, there aren't a total of 10 coins, though. There's a total of 20 coins. So I know I'm going to have to make an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 20. How do I go from 10 to 20? I multiply that by 2. Whatever I multiply the denominator by, I have to multiply the, multiply the numerator by. 6 times 2 is 12. So in a total of 20 coins, there are going to be 12 nickels. All right, perfect. But now I'm going to go back to my question, and I'm going to say, 
Were they asking for nickels? No, they were asking for the amount of quarters. So if there are 20 total coins and 12 of them are nickels, if I subtract 20 minus 12, I will get eight remaining coins and those coins will be quarters. So my answer is going to be eight. For more practice, check out my other videos. I'm gonna be going over more problems like this. And if you need extra practice, check out my workbook. And just so you know, any purchases of my workbook, they support me in being able to devote more time to making more videos. Thanks guys.